There are many cases of observed of cross-species nursing, such as even cats nursing rats. An interesting experiment would be to place a chimp baby into the wolf den of a lactating mother. The observation of this chimp's development would be of great interest in the same way feral children have always been of great interest. If the chimp was adopted into the wild wolf pack, this could provide insights into cross canine ape cultural effects. If the chimp did become an integrated member of the pack and did become primarily a carnivore and a hunter, it would show the rapid effect of cross-species cultural exchange. A further long-term experiment could be to place a male chimp baby in one pack's den and to also place a female chimp baby in a neighboring pack's den in the hopes these two chimps would be raised by their respective packs and possibly would both become dispersal members of each of their packs. If the two did hook up and reproduce, what would the resulting group culturally become? A chimp troop? or a wolf pack? Hunters or gatherers? Would the new evolving group be based upon a primary bonding pair, or would it eventually be based upon a dominant male with a harem of females? The op opposite ex experiment might also be interesting to try. However, it does not seem likely that a wolf cub would be adopted by a chimp mother since a lactating chimp mother would already have her hands full with her own baby. In addition, chimp troops are not nearly accepting as of outsiders as a wolf pack with pups can be, where in the wolf pack the hormone levels of all members of the pack adjust to ex help accept newborn pups into the social group. If it is shown to be relatively easy to introduce an ape baby into a wolf pack and next to impossible to introduce a wolf cub into an ape troop, this experimental evidence would suggest, suggest our close symbiotic relationship with the canine species would have begun with a wolf adopting an ape and not the other way around.